Tonight, big night for Donald Trump. He's winning his home state tonight by a big old large margin. And New York City politician Mona Salama at the Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue in New York City right now, where Trump is having his victory party. Mona, welcome back to the show. Hi. Yeah. Hey, how's the atmosphere there at the Trump Tower? It's ecstatic. I think the people in front of me are not even protesting. I think they're just so happy that they had to put barricades, but they're like very pro-Trump right in front of me, but there's like a bus, so we're not gonna look at them. There's a bus? Yeah, you know Fifth oh, well, Avenue, the, all the taxis, and then there's a bus. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't go see what's in front of me right now. Okay, well, uh, we heard some reports about some voting problems, missing ballots, purged voter rolls. Mona, what have you heard? It's New York. I heard, I was actually all day with my Bronx vice chair, Bronx vice chair, um, going around. There was no problems whatsoever in my county, Bronx County. The only problems I've heard reports of like people's missing names on the book, which probably, I don't know if I could say it's true 100%. Maybe they're not registered a Democrat or independent. They're registered independent. So probably there's a, there was a lot of people who fill out affidavits. Mm -hmm. um, one of the Bronx, I mean, not Bronx, one of the New York GOP, he's like part of the Black Coalition. He said that there were no Republican ballots. I'm still get, um, talking to him to see what's going on and if I could get some reports about that. Um, so pan around for us, because I, I kind of want to see, I mean, I've been to the Trump Tower several times, but I kind of want to just see, it's very cool. I know off to your left, my right, is where he came down the elevator, right, and made the announcement mm -hmm. originally. Am I looking at this yep. right? Yeah, actually, yep. And, uh, and then over to the right, downstairs, there's a little cafe. There's a really nice warm bar. And then all along the right wall there, right where you are, they sell Trump loot, right? All the, all the swag. And uh, you, mm -hmm. you can buy, like, tons of Trump stuff there. And it sells. There's always a line. And it sells like crazy. This man is a hero of sorts for many of the philanthropic things he's done in New York. Nobody talks about that, Mona. Tell us about it. Nobody ever talks about the good thing and how he's been a businessman and how he's like with the with the ice ring, the woman ring and how he bought the property. Nobody wanted that project whatsoever. And he was like, fine, I'll take it for us again. I'll take it as for fun. He developed it to become one of the best ice rings in New York City. And the buildings, if you ever go down the West Side Highway, they're all his real estate. You look around, there's a golf course in the Bronx. There's one in Westchester. There's so many properties. Nobody ever, nobody ever talks about the good. Nobody talks about when Jennifer Hudson from American Idol, when her family was shot in Chicago, and how he housed her in Trump Towers for about two weeks. Nobody talks about that. But God forbid he accidentally slips up and says 7-Eleven. Oh, my God, that's breaking news. Right? Uh, yeah, the 7-Eleven thing. I mean, really, I hope that everyone who's bothered to comment on what was an obvious, uh, you know, misstatement like we all make every single day. And for crying out loud, the man's got to be completely sleep deprived. He's running an election of his lifetime, after all. Um, and, and for all, I hope that they were the ones who said something when Obama didn't know how many states there were or when Biden made any of his numerous gaffes. I'm just hoping because I really feel like conservatives have have they've lost their souls in some ways the way they've attacked others. Here's another question for you. Did you happen to hear Sean Hannity's radio show today? No, I've been running around the Bronx, so I really didn't get to see him. But I sent him that video that I sent you about me voting, so he was really happy about that. Oh, very good. Well, I, I, I'll, only reason I ask because he interviewed Ted Cruz, and Ted Cruz sounded downright hostile towards Sean himself, and I thought it was really just very interesting because Sean, you may or may not know, has given him more minutes than any other candidate, and yet he was just very, very hostile to him today, so I was wondering if you'd heard that. Tell us what else is happening there on the ground that we're not going to hear in the news. Well, right now I'm looking up reports of every county um, Trump has won my county, Bronx County, with 68%. I'm looking, he's actually in second place in Manhattan. So something is really shocking right now. Um, Staten Island, he's won heavily, 82%. I'm really looking at Manhattan because right now it's close between him and John Kasich. They're both at 40%. Um, if, you know, Kasich gets over 50%, he wins three delegates. So I think hopefully, like, he can keep it below 50 for him to get at least one delegate out of it. But... We shall see. It's only 84% reporting, but it's um, John Kasich, 45%, uh, 
with 8,724 votes and Donald Trump with 42% and 8,306 votes. So it's very close right now. Brooklyn, um, Ted Cruz came in second place, but Donald Trump won with over 65%. So Cruz ain't gonna get no delegates. He could go and complain about that instead. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm just watching every county from New York, like the five boroughs and Staten, um, Long Island. And what's the feeling there on the ground in terms of just uh, things you're seeing or comments people are making or, like I said, things that we're not going to hear on the news? Well, in Bronx County, last, um, four years ago when it was a presidential primary, I, only 300 Republicans came out to vote. And there's only about 50,000 Republicans registered. But active, there's only 10,000. This year alone, I went to 10 sites, about 100 Republicans in each about 50 to 100 Republicans at each site came out and voted in that election. So you're never going to hear about the high turnout in the lost borough. And that's what I'm going to write about the story, about a borough that people totally forgot about. Interesting. Well, we will look forward to that, Mona. Thank you so much for being with us. You enjoy yourself tonight and, uh, and, and, and just uh, kind of bask in the energy there. I bet it's incredible. I know. I'm not going to be able to experience this after this. I think the next one is you, California. I have to lay low. I got to worry about my grad school. I haven't touched anything. Oh, gosh. I hear you. All right, sister. Thanks so much. Up next, we're going to talk to Trump.